welcome to the Audi Press Conference. And a very special welcome to Professor Dr. Ferdinand Piesch, head of the Supervisory Board of Volkswagen Group, Professor Dr. Martin Vinterkorn, head of the Volkswagen Group and Volkswagen Brandt, and Matthias Wissmann, president of the VDA, and the board members of Volkswagen AG and Audi AG. To get things started, please welcome on stage the Executive Vice President of Audi of America, Johan Denyschen. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Audi exhibit. The recent Phenom book, The Tipping Point, describes why sometimes changes may happen quickly and unexpectedly. In this industry, what seems quick is rarely so, and while the unexpected happens, it is always the case that we plan for results. The progress made by Audi, both globally and here in the US, was definitely planned and expected. In 2008, Audi in America will again be talking about all new. It starts this spring with the introduction of the all new Audi A5, a seductive coupe that showcases Audi engineering and design. But our most significant vehicle introduction this year will be the all new Audi A4. And the North American International Auto Show marks the first showing of the car here in the United States. The Audi A4 represents 55% of Audi sales annually in this market. And as such, we would not, not settle for anything less than a very impressive A4. Ladies and gentlemen, Brian Adams. Good afternoon, everyone. Audi built the very first TT Coupe in 1998. So with the new TTS, we are celebrating the 10th anniversary of this really extraordinary sports car. So let's talk about the general business. I can announce today that Audi has set a new sales record in 2007 our 12th record year in a row. We delivered over 964,000 vehicles to customers worldwide last year and increased this by a 6.5%. Audi achieved record sales in over 50 markets worldwide. So the question is, will 2008 be another record sales year for Audi? Well, we do have to roll out both the new Audi A4 sedan and the A4 Avant across the world this year. But despite this, we will set a new worldwide sales record. In fact, we plan to break through the 1 million vehicles barrier for the first time in our history. Around half those vehicles will be powered by a TDI direct injection diesel engine. So diesels have now found acceptance in every product segment of the car market, except one. Ladies and gentlemen, stand by for a revolution as we challenge the last piece of conventional wisdom about diesel power. Ladies and gentlemen, the 
revolutionary Audi R8 V12 TDI concept, a diesel-powered super sports car. At the wheel is the Audi board member for R&D, Michael Dick. Nice drive, Michael. Way to go. But what about uh, fuel consumption? On average, this car consumes less than 10 liters uh, per 100 kilometers. So it is almost, uh, almost uh, 24 miles per gallon in the U.S. We get that sort of economy today in a standard mid-size sedan, but with diesel engine power, we can match it in a super sports car like this here. That's amazing. A lot of people want to know, is this V12 sports car engine a clean diesel? Yes, it is. The combination of high pressure injection uh, and our ultra low emission system means that this concept meets the California standard, uh, which is the strongest in the world. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Michael, so much. Thank you very much. All right. We'll see you in just a bit.